Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don, and tonight we are finally playing No Man's Sky. So, guys, I got this, I bought this game, I got ready for launch day, and I had every freaking problem under the sun. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the hell was going on, but I just could not get the game to play in any sort of an acceptable way. Uh, and, well, lo and behold, a couple of patches later, a couple of updates, last night I jumped in and I finally was able to play a little bit. So, figured I would go ahead and record a little and take you guys with me. So, alright, let's get in there and let's check out No Man's Sky in VR. Okay, here we are. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. Um, Alright, so I'm moving my head and it's not stuttering. So this is a good thing. This, this is a really good thing. So, because up until now, if I was to turn my head fast, uh, everything would really lag. So, very cool. All right. Uh, so like annoying black lines are still there. So, anyway, all right, here we are. No Man's Sky. And, uh, man, I tell you what, like I said, I have been super super excited for this game ever since the announcement that that it was going to have a VR release I, 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 it always needed it you know and i mean these guys had some pretty big stumbles when they launched this game and uh but uh and and a little bit of stumble obviously with the launch of the vr but you know i gotta give them credit they've they've jumped in here they've patched it and and it seems to be working well now with my system so all right, let's see here. Let get the planetary chart. Okay, open the inventory, view the data, highlight the chart, and use A to plot a route. All right, let's see, here's the inventory. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, we'll get to you later. I'm going to go ahead and head towards the beacon here. So, man, I got to tell you, graphically, I even though I had to default this to low graphic settings, it it looks pretty damn good. Um, it's definitely got a, a different art style. Um, everything kind of looks shaded and slightly cartoonish, which I, I kind of dig. Um, you know, because I mean, you guys know, I, I started out my channel playing Elite Dangerous, and this, I'm hoping this is what I was hoping Elite would be, which was, like, getting some resources while I do all this, um, you know, I, 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 I I, don't don't get me wrong. I love Elite Dangerous, and, and I always will. That that still to this day is my favorite VR game. Period. Hands down. Um, but I want to land on planets and not just lifeless dead moons. And and come on, man, Frontier. You guys should have done this uh, from the beginning. So, all right, shit. I got an incoming storm. Is that a cave over there? Hopefully that's a cave, because I gotta get out of here. Run! Oh, I love that feeling. It gives me that weak in my knees, kind of pin of my stomach feeling there. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm seeking shelter. I'm seeking shelter. Here we go. I think this is a cave. So, you know, I, I gotta hand it to it right off the bat. It, it, this is already so damn atmospheric and, and, and the environment is, is already very, very cool. So, I, I don't know. 
I, uh, th this is going to be interesting once I get a spaceship and can actually go exploring. Um, we'll say it is a little menu heavy, though. I don't know what you're talking about. My protection's good. Yeah, it's already fully charged. So, let's see if she's being carried. Maybe that's the cave over there. not working. Alright, well, I have seeked shelter. Um, okay. So, maybe that did it. Ooh, night time. Alright, so i got to figure out what's going on. So heading towards that beacon, it just got dark. Oops. So, you know, that's another big part of this game is going to be all the, you know, uh, crafting and there is survival modes and, you know, permadeath and all that. Um, right now I am just playing it on the default um, mode, but you can really sim it up. I'll tell you what though, this is like super chill. Vast environments, awesome ambient music. I can't wait to go explore. Oh, wildlife. Cool. That's another thing that I was really excited about is how oh oh the sun coming up oh wow oh uh, little uh, this is cool hey what's up guys what's up little deer things. <laughs> this okay so i was just gonna make comment you know it's like all the different planets are procedurally i mean everything in this game is procedurally generated and and they all have their own life and <sighs> so many different things and apparently you can ride the wildlife in here so can't wait to be doing some of that Alright, so there we go. We have reached the hollow archive. What, what, what the hell got me? Alright, cool. Found me a nice little room to chill out in. You broke your BR headset. That sucks. Um, Alright. Let's get the supplies here. Yes! There is the hermetic seal that I needed to repair my ship. I think I am finally about to get off the starter planet and get into space. Which is something you guys know I have been waiting for. Um, if you haven't seen behind me, uh, 
battle chair has been resurrected. So um, I don't have the Hotas on it because I don't know if the Hotas is going to work with this. Um, so. Okay, health and maximum. Oh, cool. to the ship and make the repairs. Hey. Hello. So guys, I'll be joining you here soon. see here it wants me to locate a crystal fragment in my inventory inventory install analysis visor So, I mean, you know, just so much stuff to mess with in here. I mean, this is definitely one of those games that you could get completely and totally lost in. So gather carbon, and I need to craft some nanotubes. <clears throat> yes, got nanotubes. There we go. All right. Uh, finalize the installation. And the day and night cycle on this planet seems to go pretty quick. It seems like it's already getting dark here. Sorry for all this boring stuff here, guys. But, you know, I mean, th this is all part of the game. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely not action-filled all the time. Well, how do I finalize the installation? Complete the analysis visor. Use uh, that to access multi tool inventory. Continue and now installation trigger. I got my analysis visor. Thank you. So, let's see here. All sorts of stuff to go looking for. Alright, silver deposit. Yeah, we'll tag you. Okay. So, very cool. Well, I did analyze the objects for rewards. Alright, test it. This is Pfizer. Visual hand, blah blah blah. Okay. 
So I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. But you know what? I'm just going to roll it. Oh, oh, I'm identified. There we go. Nice. Oh, sweet. Alright, so I found something from some unknown moon. Nice. I discovered something. Very cool. And locate my starship, which I see that over there. And we got it. And I think it wants me to do that. And now I just want to tag my starship. Carbon. That's what sort of fuels my mining lasers here. Uh oh. Search it. Alright, come on. Let's double time it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah, right? Make it feel more real. So it's, it's like having all this above me and, and it's it's like Skyrim in space. It's like space room. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's, it's the vibe I'm getting right now. Let me use my thrusters here. Oh, come on. I just want to get in space. Ooh, what are those spheres? It's the, oh, beryllium spheres. Sweet. I found the beryllium spheres. Um, maybe those little things are gonna... Curious deposit. No, I don't have an advanced mining laser, I guess. Ah. Just over this ridge. here.
I mean, I mean, it goes without saying, but I could, I could find myself spending like hours and hours and hours in here daily. I, 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 I have a feeling that I'm gonna get lost in here. So if you guys don't see me for a couple of weeks or months or you know years, uh, just send out a search party. Um, tell them to come looking for me. Because I think I'm about to get my ship and space will be my playground. to get more ferrite okay just when I thought just when I thought I had it now I gotta get some pure ferrite refiners transform serval materials refined materials hold more charge um, okay so refiner Are you a refiner? No, nope, I don't have the right materials to repair that. Ah, there we go. Okay. Cannot build missing components. What am I missing? Oh, okay, here we go. I just need some pure fare right now. Where's the pure fare right? Alright, so pure ferrite. Gosh, you guys are really making me work to get off this planet. Alright, now I gotta find some pure ferrite here. 
Hey, Y'all got any ferrite? Not fair, right? No, that's so damn. Dang! What? So where? I just gotta collect enough ferrite right dust. Oops. Ah, pure for right. Wait, advanced mining laser. What? How do I get an advanced mining laser? There we go. Sweet. Okay. So, let's see here. All right. Technology 
Okay. That's what I was preparing, plus dust and portable finder is used. Pure ferrite. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Alright, I think we finally are gonna get what we need to get off this damn planet. So let's see. Boom! Yes! Wait. Alright. Okay, the geode in the inventory. Did I do it? Yes! Sweet! Okay, so we can finally fly the ship. Alright, that is awesome. So, okay, exit the ship and collect the portable refiner uh, and grab a car. Okay, so I guess I gotta take my portable refiner with me. All systems are functioning. Return to my ship. And yes, there we go. Now I'm in my chair. Oh. Now, like I said, the only thing that would be better is if I actually had my Hotas here. So I am going to experiment with that. Um, I know I was chatting with my friend uh, e, e minus uh, Eric Hartley. You guys know him out on YouTube. Uh, just a wealth of knowledge. And he was saying it does work with his X-52. So I am excited about that. So, alright. Let's get in the air. Alright, so push the throttle force. Take off. So, all right, go. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this. Okay. Oh, okay. I can just use the sticks. All right. Very good. Wait, no, maybe I can't. Okay, so man, I gotta. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like this. Um, I am definitely gonna have to hook up my X-52 and see if I can get that as a means of flight. Ah, uh, but here we go. All right. Very cool. I think we break orbit. Let's do it. Nice. Very cool. Achieve, test starship systems, test boost with left trigger. Alright, so there is a little boost action. Why does it keep telling me to locate that geode? Okay, I get it. Just just don't stop. Just stop telling me that. Maybe I should just do it and get it out of the way. Alright, hold on. Where's this stupid geode?
Oh yeah. Alright, I'm not ready to do anything with it. Alright, let's get out into the space space. So that's a little more comfortable when I sit back and I can just kind of rest my hand on something. But I, I, I'm just, I'm still not a fan. Um, like I said, I'm really looking forward to testing this out with my X-52. So. Very cool. So, I, you know, the, the video's already gotten pretty long and the, the goal was to get into space. So I think we are going to go ahead and cap it here, guys. But trust me, I, I, I am going to do a, a few more videos on this one. Um, because, man, I tell you what, I'm absolutely loving this game so far, and I am going to be playing the hell out of it. Maybe do some live streams. I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comments if you would actually watch if I live streamed my uh, shenanigans here in um, No Man's Sky. Wow. Okay, real quick before I go, though, that's something that even Elite sometimes doesn't get right is the planetary scale. The planets all look as all in here they look vast so very cool so all right guys that's it i'm out thank you so much for watching the end of the video if you did you guys know that means the world to me uh and if this was your first time coming by the channel man i can't thank you enough for coming by to check out what i do here on vr gamer dude so if you liked what you saw tonight man head over to my main page take a look at the videos you never know what you're gonna find and if you like what you saw there smash subscribe come along with me the next time i do something cool in vr and if you already did smash subscribe guys i love you thank you so much channel's growing again we are over 7,050 subscribers here on my channel and I never thought in a million years I'd even see seven. So <laughs> thank you very much. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. I'm going to go explore some more space. This is VR Gamer Dude, Don, signing off. Peace.